So tonight we want to touch into um, the subconscious mind, the subconscious mind and the, what I call the subconscious grid for dowsing, because that is what we do as we as we start, none of you are beginners here, but as we started our dowsing practice, part of the reason why we were working with the daily, we created the daily practice protocols is that it starts to set up a foundation. Many of you here have been dowsing for a few years, so you've probably got this template already in place, right? When you pick up your pendulum, you can feel, you can just sort of drop into what we call dowsing mind, you have it. But it is kind of a thing uh, where we were, as we're going to spend, I'll talk a little bit about it um, in a moment, but we just wanted to to touch on that as we begin the call tonight to say that is why partly why because we had to really rethink it what the daily practice is definitely a practice to get us started. But it's more than that it's a practice that begins to form that subconscious grid, so that when we start dowsing we can just tap into that larger grid right away I want to share a story a, a dowsing story it happened quite a few years ago, but <laughs> the reason why is because. It gives kind of an example of this subconscious grid in a sense that um, when somebody comes or we're working with something, what may seem like the most obvious route to go down, right? Or they bring something like, I'm bringing um, the fact, the particular, I'm gonna just give the example. This client came and said, I'm coming to see you guys. And it was an in-person visit. I'm coming to see you because I keep waking up every morning for the last, I don't know, three weeks at, 4 13 in the morning <laughs> and that was i wake up at 4 13 and he goes i just want to know why I'm like okay interesting right so you know there was no way to sort of get into that with dowsy right well like i can't ask the question why are you waking up the dowsing system's not going to just go oh why this is why so we just let that question sit there and then say hey were some other things that might you might have want to look at today so we started the session meanwhile that first question is there like why am i waking up at 4 13. and so what happened was by tapping into that subconscious grid sort of looking at this and um it's like all and it kind of just happened it's like open up to receiving some information or guidance about this so we just proceeded on knowing that we would circle back around to this hopefully we're gonna try to hopefully discover what this is but without making an effort to discover what it is right if I make an effort and so focus on that I might lose the ability to actually find the answer. So we went on and started doing a few other things looking for entities looking for curses and then, as we went forward, what became very clear and it just dropped in was 413 is not a time it is the time you're waking up and it's a date. So what happened on April 13? How bizarre, right? Like April, it's a date, it's not a time. So after that, after we're like, oh, well, that's fascinating. It's, it's not a time, it's a date. So that took us like kind of to the next level layer of this grid. And then what happened was that pictures started going through my mind, my imagination of like Abraham Lincoln who was the president in the United States when abolition and the Civil War started, I started seeing pictures of Civil War activities and like Abraham Lincoln and I'm thinking, okay, well, this is somehow related to the Civil War. Somehow, I don't know how, 413. It turns out that this client grown up in the United States in the South. So I said to him, I said, is there anything about the, the time period of the Civil War, right, that, that, you know, is in your thoughts or you dream about or what? It's like, no, no, no. Do you have any connection with that, you know, the South? The South goes, yeah, yeah, I, I was brought up in the South. And and then he started remembering things like, no, yeah, that's right. My mother was a part of this League of Women's group that was like the, the Daughters of the Revolution, right? So he started remembering these kind of familial connections. Well, what, so we go on further and we look at his potential of needing a soul retrieval it turns out that would be a really good idea for him so Sven starts the protocol of the soul retrieval and what happened in the soul retrieval is that as he was asking to bring back lost fragments of soul all these lost fragments of other people's souls and what we could call lost souls because I think we're going to dip into lost souls today too I think you have something Diana um, that all these lost souls just started kind of like coming in and saying 
you know, take take me with you when you're when you're collecting your lost fragments, take me with you. It was like, where are all these souls? And they were all on this battlefield somewhere. I didn't know where, but it was a civil war period. So all of this is starting to come together in the midst of this soul retrieval. This man who's like, I guess he was in his 50s, starts completely sobbing, has all this emotion. It's like all this grief is coming up. So it was this fascinating thing that what we discovered later, because I looked up, what is the date, April 13? It was the last biggest battle. It was the battle of the Civil War that ended the Civil War. And it was directed by, I can't, I can never remember if it was General Grant or General Lee, but somehow this client played a major role, whether he was that person or had an imprint of that person, or he was a high commander in that time period, that that all sort of filtered through with this time, this date, and then this this battlefield where all these lost fragments were saying, please collect me. And also his full amount of grief and full amount of sorrow that came forward, I guess, as he started to possibly feel that he was tapped into that, that realm of like, you know, I might have been responsible for this, right? Anyway, that's the story of it. And so that was kind of the end of that story, but it was just one of those things where, where we get symbols or we get messages from spirit, like how do we interpret them, right? How do we interpret them?